guys. Hello. So both of you are soapies. Is yes. that what we they are. call you, we soapies? Are. We are. Okay, so guiding light for you, St. Lawrence. Yeah. And how long ago was that? That was, I was on the show for three years and it was canceled in 2009. Okay, and Nafisa, you just be, got a recurring role as Dion. Dina Forbes on Dina, One Life to Live. On One yes. Life to Live, and yes. um, everyone's hearing that that is actually not going to be anymore. But, yeah. but tell us tell us the experience working with soaps and tell, tell us what you're taking from this to move forward, whether or not the soap is there or not in your careers. I'll let you go well, first. Well, for me, it just, it, going into soaps, it's like anything you could have learned in acting school or, or a film. It's like soaps is it's fast, yes. hit your mark. If it goes beyond one take, somebody made a mistake. Mm -hmm. But but the freedom wow. in being able to create in that type of urgent environment brings out so many things. And being on a, on a set like that, and our, our, our format changed on Guiding Light. They, they did things to cut costs. So I got to watch and study the producers figure stuff out. So me learning how to produce came from them trying to figure figure stuff out and make a move. But But... You know, support. When you see people of color on soaps, yes. support them. This girl right here, watch her on One Life to Live. I can count how many black people are on soap operas right now. So for her to be on One Life to Live, it's an amazing awesome. achievement. So support them when you see them. Yes, yes. So, Nafisa, you. you just began. Tell tell us, uh, what was first the first day like on set? Oh, my God. My first day, uh, I don't know. It was tears of joy. I was excited. There was nervous energy because it was something that I'd never done before. It was my first TV job. But the experience that I get, the people there that I'm working with, you know, they just welcomed me, made me feel at home. And like I said, more excitingly, like, this is my first, you know, gig, first substantial, you know, TV job. So, you know, to be on a soap that's been on for 44 years and I'm working with veterans who I'm in scenes with who's been there for 13, 14 years, you know, and again, you know, like he's like, like what Lawrence, I want to piggyback on him when he said that um, our scripts, they're so thick and if you don't, if you do a take more than once, somebody made a mistake. He did not lie. It's so fast. When I got there, I was like, oh my God, these people are not playing. Like you just have to be on point, be ready. And most importantly, if you do not know your lines, that's trouble, okay? How, how, soon in, how soon in advance do you actually have your lines? Uh, sometimes maybe a week in advance, but okay. again, there's there scripts that you have to go through, and sometimes, I, you know, we do two, three script, scripts a day. Yeah. Sometimes, oh. I've, yeah, I've shot two and three scripts a day, so it's just a lot of work, and, you know, I, I'm, you know, so grateful for the experience, because I feel like after, I, if, if I can do a soul, can do I can anything. do anything. You can do okay. like like, if, if you get your script on Monday yes. for next week, mm -hmm. why, you're not going to read that script because you still got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You still have the day's work that you have to get through. So yeah. Tomorrow's work. Yeah. So, so when you're on a film set or on primetime TV, you're kind of sitting there like, why are they taking so long? Exactly. <laughs> because you're so, you know, your, your mind is programmed to, to memor not just memorize, learn You have to your do lines. the work. You have to dig in and do the work on top of these scripts that you have to memorize and know and just be in character and be ready because it's, it's moving really, really fast. Wow, wow. Yeah. So what do you guys have now moving forward? Uh, uh, Lawrence, you, I know that you and your wife have a production company. You have a we short do. film. We do have a short film. We'll be at the New York Cafe May 5th. It's called The Forgiven. And we're just moving forward in that vein. After Guiding Light, I started a web series for the girl who played my love interest. And we're able to bring a lot of our <laughs> fan base with us and they watched it and gave him a little extra goodbye on that show oh, so yeah. that's what we did and um we're moving okay. forward in that and auditioning yeah okay, exactly <laughs> that's what's up that's, that's what i was what's gonna up. say i'm still taking classes i'm actually going to st a shakespeare workshop now where i'm reading king richard the third which awesome. is you know it was a challenge but it's something you know i had to keep, i have to keep myself busy I'm, I'm auditioning i just did a movie in philly over this last summer that is set for release later this year is titled streets so i'm just working staying busy because because as you can see, you just never know. Yeah. You know what's gonna happen. Okay, and so we'll see you as Dina up you'll through see when. Up and through, I would say until the summertime, definitely. Okay. So definitely stay tuned in. I still have more work on the show. I'm not done, and I will give my all until my last minute on the show. So definitely check me out, and I'm just, you know, it's a pleasure just to share this character with you guys, and for you guys to definitely, you know, see my work and see what I'm about. That's what's up. So, to the Soapies, we really appreciate your <laughs> contributions to Success in the Arts today, and Thank we look forward will. to seeing you guys on screen and behind screen in the future. You yes. will. Alright. You will. Thank you.